Following Matthew Arnold's Dover Beach, the last poem I read, requested by Steve Tomlin, Steve has asked me to read a John O'Donoghue poem for his friend Geraldine Brown, who is a fan of the poet. I don't know O'Donoghue's work, but I was delighted to hear he hailed from County Clare and was active in fighting to protect the Burren from large-scale tourist developments proposed by the Irish government in the 1990s. It's a beautiful national park of limestone pavement with its attendant microclimates supporting a rich range of flora and fauna. It's an area I've enjoyed exploring, albeit briefly, and is close to where my son John now lives. O'Donoghue was a priest, and much of his work seems to be about pouring balm on suffering, especially in matters of grief, loneliness, sickness and death. I've chosen to read On the Death of the Beloved, which, sadly, will resonate with the multitude of families here and abroad who have lost loved ones to this horrific pandemic. On the Death of the Beloved Though we need to weep your loss, you dwell in that safe place in our hearts where no storm or night or pain can reach you. Your love was like the dawn, brightening over our lives, awakening beneath the dark, a further adventure of colour. The sound of your voice found for us a new music that brightened everything. Whatever you enfolded in your gaze, quickened in the joy of its being, you placed smiles like flowers on the altar of the heart. Your mind always sparkled with wonder at things. Though your days here were brief, your spirit was live, awake, complete. We look towards each other no longer from the old distance of our names. Now you dwell inside the rhythm of breath, as close to us as we are to ourselves. Though we cannot see you with outward eyes, we know our soul's gaze is upon your face, smiling back at us from within everything to which we bring our best refinement. Let us not look for you only in memory, where we would grow lonely without you. You would want us to find you in presence, beside us when beauty brightens, when kindness glows, and music echoes eternal tones. When orchids brighten the earth, darkest winter has turned to spring. May this dark grief flower with hope in every heart that loves you. May you continue to inspire us, to enter each day with a generous heart, to serve the call of courage and love, until we see your beautiful face again in that land where there is no more separation, where all tears will be wiped from our mind and where we will never lose you again.